In this video, I'm going to show you what's involved in installing a Houdini undermount keyboard tray here in this space for this wireless keyboard. The hardware components have arrived, some plastic trim, screws, whatever. So this is the keyboard tray and this is the main rail and mounting mechanism that's just covering pictures and personal items on the desk. So let's take a look at the instructions which are kind of scanned and uh, this is all the manufacturer says it's enough instruction for me this is what is also included in the uh, what is it shipping document so the screws are all the same size fairly straightforward and yes by all means pre drill all the holes with uh, that size of drill bit one eighth diameter for these screws so the uh, a particle board countertop is or desktop is not being destroyed there are four screws in this keyboard here with four bolts and four nuts and four screw caps very very straightforward there and i'll show you how this uh, articulating uh, monstrosity mounts and works on one end it gets this rubber what is it a bumper uh, that gets mounted with one of these screws so the, these screws go in here in this rail and and on this rail at the other end this gets mounted yeah something like this so that the mechanism doesn't slide off at this end and it doesn't slide off at the other end either so it has to stay within those two endpoints. So this component from uh, the keyboard tray can be removed and weighs, I don't know, 10 pounds. So take out just this one. This is the easiest. Figure out where it needs to go. Turn it flat side against the table so that the channel in it, you can see the channel component is pointing down and pick a direction under the table where you can see between the two monitors you can see where it makes sense to install it in exactly this direction typically this would be aiming for the corner over there with the center line of this item now for this to stay in place you might want to grab some quick clamp or woodworking clamps or whatever so you're not fighting gravity when you put the screws in after pre-drilling the screws very simply need to go in there very straightforward yes so i have the track in place it's obviously pointing directly towards the corner with its center line and it comes up here so this is how it's been centered and have removed the woodworking clamps and the first two screws one here and one diagonally across are holding it so this is how this part of the keyboard tray looks like the blue surfaces are plastic and they provide some low friction surface to glide or slide in the channels there the white stuff on it is some grease obviously don't wipe it off because the keyboard tree needs that grease and uh, your clothes probably don't it says to lower it tip up the front and lower it just like so very straightforward can be tucked underneath and like this component with three screws can be installed here at the front so this is how it looks like it slides in and out at the end this rubber bumper is stopping the assembly from sliding off and falling off here under the desk at the front of the keyboard tray here this plastic item has been installed with these three screws one two three and it stops this assembly from sliding off in this direction so now it's staying put next thing is to mount the keyboard tray on it with those four bolts very straightforward 
when mounting this part of the keyboard tray, the holes have been shaped to match the screw heads. So there is a correct side to turn this board this way so that the screw heads are flush to the top. So when installed, then this Houdini can rotate. It can be raised and it can be leveled with this wheel. So it's gonna drop back or come level. Now, apparently this hits the corner of this, hit the uh, desk or so, but it can still be lowered so that way there so so this works as designed but it's not gonna raise up above the desk level but that's why this is an under mount keyboard so it can be kept under the desk whatever at the, whatever is the comfortable height for the person working here so finally i'm left with eight of these screws which i don't know where they go because i put screws in every possible hole on the track and the front piece and so everything is assembled correctly. Uh, the instructions do say to hold or keep the edge back uh, half an inch from the edge of the countertop here so that this trim item here that stops the assembly from sliding out, it's not exposed, does not protrude past the edge of this here. Here at the curvature to the center line, just half inch like so and it's as far as it's going to go and and so this part is overlapping with the table hmm. such is the situation here this is it's this is the limitation and the width of this keyboard tray i'm also left with these um, this is for cable routing if somebody uses a mouse with a wire and the keyboard with a wire that's for cable management and a few of these uh i don't know a few of these uh pads for maybe the underside of the keyboard i don't know uh, it came with a new trackpad or the old one can be used ouch i guess after washing it maybe i don't know